Okay, here we go. Spin that bitch. Wind Waker! Sploosh! Alright, Wind Waker time, everybody. It's Kindle. <sighs> Wind Waker is one of the more stressful ones towards the beginning, especially when we don't have very many items. We still don't have a sword. We still don't really have anything. We have bottles. I got some elixir soup from Grandma, so, you know, we're kind of... We can replenish ourselves. But apart from that, we're still... Item-wise, we're pretty naked. Okay, I have a few things we can do. There's no point to like really playing out more than like a few things at once. On the sea again. Can't wait to be on the sea again. So relaxing. Someday, I want to do a live stream from a boat. I just like want to rent a boat for a day. Take a streaming setup, like a laptop there, and just stream from a boat. <laughs> That's all there is to it. But like a boat where the streaming equipment would be safe. Not like a canoe or something that would like tip over. Something with some good stability. Thank you, Emily, for updating the game. You're a real one. Can't you stream from a phone? You can stream from a phone. I guess that would be easier. But I'd want to stream Wind Waker from a boat, so I would need at least a laptop. Alright, so Northern Fairy Island is the one that you get for free. The one that doesn't like, require anything else. I love you too, Katie Pyro. Love you too. I love you too. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quests. Damn, her symmetry is beautimous. You need Wi-Fi on a boat. Um, yeah, I could use a hotspot. Is everything randomized? Yes. I'm currently playing the most difficult randomizer for Wind Waker that I've ever played. Although this still isn't the hardest setting, almost all the Zelda randomizers have added pots to the, to the randomizer settings. Which is just a little bit overboard, but at the same time, as a content creator, who does randomizer content? Any settings that give me infinite content, I will be happy. I can be happy with. So no complaints. Can I pop a rhyme for chat? Let's see. I'm on the boat. I got my flippy floppies. Now let's go to Kinko's. Yeah, we're straight flipping copies. I'm on a boat and it's going fast and we're going straight to outset our home islands. Yep. Man, I sailed to the back and I blew my way and nothing can stop me now, bitch. I'm not playing. Oh shit, Jaboon is real. He was a fucking whale, motherfucker. I said, give me that pearl, motherfucker. He gave me that pearl, motherfucker. And then I seduced and left that motherfucker. Yo, grandma, if you can see me now, I'm preparing to take Ganon down. Yeah. This tower, it belongs to the gods. And I'm the one to enter the odds. I just started singing my Wind Waker I'm on a boat parody that I made like six years ago. <laughs> that was what I resorted to. All right, we made it across. Swinging life is going great for us. Banjo-Kazooie randomizer has pots too. Are you talking about the teleportation pots? Oh, sassy tingle statue. That's what's up. Tingle sassing all over the place. What a sassy senorita. Oh, get out of here, get out of here. Do the Camaro dance. I'll do the Camaro dance. Maybe later. I've already done it before. 
<laughs> I think I've done the Camaro dance twice already. Why do people want to see the Camaro dance so much? I know it's iconic, I guess. I answer my own question. I'm not very good at the Camaro dance though. I need to practice. I'm trying to get to Star Island. Dude, where's my car? You're probably a forest haven, bruh. Slaving away for the great Deku tree. But the great Deku tree is daddy. If anything, the great Deku tree is like the most daddy character in the Zelda franchise. Damn. What I wouldn't do for the great Deku tree. I just want, I just want him to hold me in his branches. Is the King of Red Lions not daddy? King of Red Lions is kind of daddy. But not as daddy as the great Deku tree. Joy Pendant! Yo, let's get some joy. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. Zelda Daddy tier list. Okay. Great Deku Tree would definitely be an S tier. An A tier? We can put the King of Red Lions. King of Red Lions is A tier, Daddy. Um, I would say the Smith from The Wind Waker. No, sorry, the Smith from Minish Cap. That like makes the sword in your like the place where you start the game at. He's A tier, Daddy. I'm gonna have to put the dude that lives in Kakariko Village in Twilight Princess, Ronaldo. He's a B tier daddy. Definitely give him B tier. We have the dude in the bomb shop from Majora's Mask who's wearing the the latex unitard. I would say he's a C tier daddy. Um, Darunia, our big beefy Goron, definitely A tier daddy. Uh, he has to have A tier. Uh, Sidon from Breath of the Wilds. I would get shot if I didn't call him an S tier daddy. So just to like not disturb the peace, I'm giving him S tier daddy. We have Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. Um, <laughs> Talon, unfortunately, probably like a D tier dad. <laughs> I'll put him like really down low on the list. He's like, he's going through it, I will say, but that's still not really a excuse for child neglect, right? <laughs> Cass, our accordion plane feathered friend. He's pretty cool, but he always talks in freaking riddles, which is confusing, so I'll give him like a, a B tier dad. Too, too arbitrary. Raru from the Temple of Time, our bearded goat. Raru is. He's probably he, Raru is about a C tier dad. He did do a good job at watching over us as we slumbered for a very long time in the Chamber of Sages, though. So we appreciate his help. We have Ned from the fishing hole. Living legend himself, honestly. Nobody quite compares to Ned. People try to compare to Ned, but they never truly will. And that's kind of unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Ned, triple S tier daddy. No, just kidding, he's not that good. Ned is a tier dad. Um, he would be better, but he's a little bit addicted to fishing to the point where he like would rather go fishing than spend time with you, so 
not really vi vibing with it too much. Uh, Shad, the philosopher and intellect from Twilight Princess, somewhat Scott the Waz looked alike. <laughs> Shad, he's not really dad energy, but he's still a, a pretty charming lad. But as far as dad tier list goes, Shad is probably a B tier. Shad is probably the one analyzing the tier list to find a daddy. We have King Zora. King Zora, probably a D tier dad. <laughs> literally never moves. His daughter goes missing and he literally doesn't even stand up. So D tier dad. But at least he was concerned, I guess. Oh, Tingle. Yeah, Tingle is definitely... <laughs> Tingle is F tier dad. <laughs> Tingle is like the last person you would want to be your dad. Honestly. He's just a little bit too wacky. But Tingle's like wacky, like not in a good way. But like in the way that nobody understands and gets you made fun of at school. Like eternally because he's always just being such a weirdo. Linebeck yep. from Spirit Tracks. Linebeck is a B tier dad. Nothing to quite bat an eyelash at, but he's still there for you. And he's driven. Oh. Um, Dompe? I don't really quite know. Are we going Dompe before he dies or after he dies? because I have different answers for both of those. He, can he die from these nuts? Is that a thing? Oh, Give us both alive and dead. Okay, Dompe alive is, is a B tier dad. Cause he just seems very kind and like he'll listen to you you know he's a good listener and that's sometimes all you need from a good dad is someone who's willing to like listen to you and understand you he's there for you but then dead dompe oof, don't get me started dead dompe's freaking bussin triple s to your dad Ooh, daddy a f ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, i don't even i don't really know how to answer the daddy level of a dead person orca the guy who teaches us how to wield the sword Orca has a dad bod. He has the dad gut, which, if anything, makes him more daddy than, like, anybody in the Zelda franchise. So, but he's not the most daddy. I, I would say Orca is... I'll give him A tier. Orca's pretty up there. I already gave King of Red Lions A tier as well. The Deku Butler from Majora's Mask. The only time we get to see his relationship with his son is when he's grieving over his son's death. I can't even do anything in here. Why am I here? I... I hit a dead end. The Deku Butler is... We'll give him B tier. The fact that he's a butler makes him a little bit less daddy because daddies don't usually like serve other people in power daddies usually are the ones getting served so butler's probably like b tier but he's still pretty chill so he's not like too far down the list um we have ovati hmm Vati also kind of gives me, like, evil twink energy. So I'll, I'll put him, like, at, at a C on the daddy list. He's not gonna, he doesn't get too much credit there. Pamela's dad, the one that turns into a mummy. Well, seeing the fact that he turned into a mummy, and mummies are the opposite of daddies, I'm gonna have to give Pamela's dad a, probably a D tier, honestly. Master Koga from Breath of the Wild, owner, or just 
He's not owner of the of the Koga gang, but he's the leader of the Koga gang, I think. Yeah, honestly, screw that bitch. I'm gonna give him a D tier just because I hate him. <laughs> Finally, we got some rupees. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was looking for. From there. No, sir. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Get the two cans. They're attacking me. The two cans are attacking. We need, we need to escape and go to Spectacle Island. I gotta sploosh some more kabooms if you guys know what I'm talking about. As Elzo from Minish Cap, your hat that sits on top of your head. He's actually really good guidance. He's always there for you. Always feeding you lots of good information. And he's actually a pretty chill dude. I'm gonna have to give Ezlo, or Elzo, A tier. A tier daddy. Beetle. Freaking salesman extraordinaire. He can sell you anything anywhere, no matter what you're doing. He doesn't quite. Hmm. I'm gonna have to give Beetle probably B tier daddy. Just because he looks like he's so caught up in trying to sell people stuff all the time that he wouldn't even be able to like keep his children nourished. He doesn't seem like the type of person who go out and make sure that like he's keeping people fed. He works hard, but doesn't quite have dad energy. Doesn't really seem too comforting overall. Girahim. From Skyward Sword, the Wiggle Ton, the Wiggle Tongued Waifu. I don't even know. He kind of has Waifu energy, honestly. Yeah, Garyham is D tier daddy. Garyham is definitely Waifu energy. Zant, the Twilight Prince, that got taken over by the evil desires of Ganondorf. Zant. He's kind of a pussy. C tier daddy. This game is 50 rupees? Damn. Oh, Salvador. We have to get, put Salvador on the list. Honestly, Salvador looks like he doesn't give a shit about literally anything and like he never could. And daddy doesn't even care for you. So Salvador is like probably a C tier daddy. Ravio from Breath of the Wilds. Everyone's favorite Rito. Rito is A tier daddy. Or Ravio. R Ravio is A tier daddy. He's just a handsome man. And he's always helping take care of those people around him. Yo, thank you, Joe Gold, for the gift subs. The two gift subs, Luna and. One of a, thank you so much. We are at 822 subs right now. We will respin the randomizer wheel at 850 subs, so we're about 28 away at the moment. So it seems like we'll at least get like a solid hour or two of Wind Waker, hopefully. Because I'm enjoying Wind Waker. This game is peaceful. Ravio is Bunny Boy. Oh. I was thinking Rivali. Okay, let, let's redo this. Rivali. Rivali is everyone's favorite Rito. For sure. He's a handsome lad taking care of everybody around him. He's a warrior. Rivali's an A-tier dad, for sure. No doubt. We have Mapfish. Mapfish is a really good artist. But... Like, this is a, this is a question for chat. But are people who are, like, more artistically inclined, do you feel like they give more or less dad energy? Because I almost get, like, that energy usually seems like you're not really in tune with, like, your artistic side. You're just in tune with, like, helping people and fixing stuff. But I also, it just depends on, like, what your definition of daddy is, too. I'm going to say a little bit less 
I'm gonna give Mapfish C tier. Mapfish is C tier, Daddy. Gonzo, so act like it. Don't lose your head. Oh, we finally got our first item. Heck yes. Skull hammer. Now we can bop some hoes. If you got it, if you got a head, bop that. Now we can actually fight things. That's like the best. That's what I was like the most stressed about. Yo, what's up, Steve-O? How's it going, dude? Hope you're having a good day. We're just talking about dads. And what Zelda characters are the most daddy. Where did we just find this at? This was the Spectacle Island prize. I need to check Beetle Shop again. I'm so happy we just got that. I used to listen to Bop That every morning before work to get pumped up for your day. Yo, that's what's up. I'm glad you like that song. It's a hype as fuck song, for sure. If you gotta, if you gotta head, bop that boom. Bop that boom. I just like plowed right into a ship. Just T-Bones, Beetle, <laughs> no big deal. Is he just selling a compass? Fuck with compass. I'll get the fuck with compass. Forbidden Woods Compass. Thank you! Thank you! Groose. How daddy is Groose? Seeing as Groose is a very jealous person and very, like, not in control of his emotions, Groose is like a C tier dad. Groose is like a wannabe daddy, but, like, definitely failing in most fronts. And it's nobody's fault but his own, if we're being completely honest. Gruus gets character development? Well, I haven't seen it yet in my Let's Play, so... Gruus has daddy potential, but he's just not there yet. Wait, Gruus... He's still like what? And Skyward Sword. I'm trying to think, in Skyward Sword, the Flight Academy, like they're having like the award ceremony and everything. I'm assuming that they're probably like senior and high school level. So Groose is like too young to even be a daddy in the first place. He's still kind of, he's still at that like almost like teenage phase. Am I gonna finish my Skyward Sword playthrough? Yes. I just kind of like split it up into two halves. The episode with Chugger Conroy was like kind of the season finale of the first half. And then I'm gonna go into the second half. Honestly, the main reason I had to stop doing it was I literally just couldn't afford it. I wasn't making enough videos at the time. I'm enough money from those videos and I like ran out of money. And so I was just like, okay, I guess I can't do this right now. And so I just had to focus on other stuff. But I feel like if I stream more, and get like more donations over time, then that'll allow me to just kind of like let's play whatever I want and not have to worry too much about monetization. But the views for, for Skyward Sword weren't quite there. I've seen the character development when I first played the game 10 years ago for Skyward Sword. But the last time I played Skyward Sword was like 10 years ago. And then I started replaying this version. Can I not? Can I blow? What? What can I do here? Star Island, defeat the enemies. Oh, right, I have the power bracelets. Haha. -ha. Do I want to try to kill all the enemies with the skull hammer, though? Yo, what's up, Jeff? How you doing? Wait, can I kill these guys with this? I guess we'll find out. Oh, can I just like smash them? Oh, that was so satisfying. Up, oh, he snip, he snip, out. Is he trying to scissor me? 
Does he think I'm a lesbian? He would be right. Give me that. <laughs> oh my gosh. The hammer takes so long, so much time. Oh, we got the next wave. There's waves of enemies. Who won at risk? Uh, I don't think there was a winner, if I remember correctly. So when we played Risk last night, I was the only person out of all five of us who had ever played Risk before. So I was teaching everybody how to play, so nobody really knew how to do strategy. So we kind of just got to a point where it was just like, okay, they know what's up now, so if they were ever to play again, they would know like what to do. <laughs> also, we had another issue. So the version of Risk we were playing has these new cards that are supposed to shorten the game because the main problem a lot of people have with Risk is that it's way too long, like unnecessarily long. So these cards give you secret missions that give you like a different goal that you can do to win the game. And the main mission, oh my gosh. Did he drop his sword? He did, yes. Oh, they're all dropping their weapons. Actually, oh my God. So the main mission that we got was to this is not going well. They're like hitting each other. That's good for me, actually. Hell yeah. So the main mission we got was to kill all of one color. Like to take one person out. And my secret mission was to take everybody out. Gosh, any hearts? Any hearts? Oh, we finished it. Yay! So my mission was to kill all the blue troops. And then Amaya's mission was to kill all the indigo troops. But she confused the indigo and blue, so she started killing all the blue troops too. And we kind of started unfairly teaming up against blue because we both thought that was our mission. When she was supposed to go against indigo, which to be fair, the indigo pieces looked like they were black. So she didn't like realize. So I must be like kind of realized that mistake. We're like, okay, we'll just end it here. All right, let's see what this chest has on Star Islands. Another treasure chart. Can we mark treasure charts or is it? What is this chart on the on the tracker? I forget what this signifies. Oh, it's the ghost ship chart. Okay. Who the fuck calls it indigo and not purple? I don't freaking know. But it didn't even look indigo. It looked like really, really... It looked like black. Like straight up. The only way you could tell it was indigo is if like the light caught it just right you could sort of see the indigo tint to it. So yeah, me and Amaya were just teaming up and just slaughtering our friend Justice and like pretty much wiped him off the board. And then we both realized that we were teaming up against him together when she wasn't supposed to be doing that. Yeah, we played Risk for about two hours. They all learned how to play for their first time. They learned a new board game. Yeah, it was a good time. It was a fun thing to do at one o'clock in the morning Pacific time when the rest of the world is asleep. Take over the world, board game style. Okay, now we can go to some fairy islands because we have the, the hammer. Let's go to Western Fairy Island next, which is going straight to it. Fantastic. Honestly, Risk isn't, like, it's a fun board game, but it feels like it just needs more to it. It's very, very repetitious and slow. And I was like, we we're trying to think of, like, settings or new options or modes that you could add to it. Oh my god. That sucks. That's annoying. I'm trying to think of what settings we could add to Risk to make it more fun and less repetitive. And I thought... Instead of using three and two dice for the attacking and defending side, if you had five and three dice, so the battles would go faster. Oh my gosh, there's so many barrels. I feel like a ship got sunk out here. I guess that makes sense. There's a cyclone right there. Risk drinking game, but every time you lose a territory, you have to take a shot. We 
never play Risk, but also not many of your friends play board games. I enjoy them though. I had some friends who were board game lovers in college, but we didn't keep in touch. Board games are really fun, but they do take a lot of time and are very sedentary. So, they're not necessarily the best thing to do with friends, since they're kind of like active. It just depends on the board game. I feel like some board games are like really fun to play with friends and they like bring the spirits up. But then some other board games that are like long and slow and kind of like mean actually like bring people's energy down and people get upset. <laughs> That's why I like Risk Legacy. It changes the board every game. Whoa, I've never even seen that version. Is that a digital version of Risk? Or is that is that an actual board game version? Add nukes to Risk. Oh my god. <laughs> Risk nuclear edition. <laughs> Everyone gets one nuke in the game, and they can use it if they want to to take to completely destroy a territory. That would actually be kind of fun. <laughs> I'd be down. Let's develop it. We'll just make Squeal. Can you use your 3D printer and 3D print us up some some nuclear <laughs> mushroom clouds? <laughs> we can make this interesting. It's physical. You literally draw on the board. That sounds pretty cool. Everybody in chat, what's the most recent board game you've played? D&D &D does not count. Another treasure chart. Insane Monopoly? Wait, Squill, you actually played Monopoly? What? You would never play Monopoly with me. What changed? Soro. I've never heard of Soro. I've heard of Power Grid. Mysterium. I haven't heard of that one. Is that good? Life. I haven't played Life in a long time. That would be kind of fun. Pandemic. Ooh. I'm not sure if I would say that game. I wouldn't play that game. Too soon. Too soon. Does Werewolf count? Kind of? Not really. I would say Werewolf is more of a social game than a board game. Minotaur. I haven't heard of that one. Harry Potter Clue. <laughs> Dude, isn't there? There's a Zelda version of Clue, isn't there? I'm like pretty positive there is. Okay, let's look at the tracker. I'm gonna get rid of some dots. I got that. I got that. Got this up at Star Island. How about this stuff at Beetle Shop? Um, we can do Eastern Fairy Islands. I can get a platform at Star, Star Belt. I can do Thorn Fairy Islands, Cyclops Platform, Six Eye Sub. I can do Headstone Islands. Okay, there's, there's a few things we can do. You guys have any preferences of which island I go to next? There's Zelda Monopoly. That would be fun. I should get Zelda Monopoly. That would be fun to play on my channel, honestly. You fucking hate Monopoly. I only like Monopoly if you have literally nothing better to do. Like, Monopoly is a good game if you have nothing better to do. And you just need to pass time with something that's really good at passing time. I feel like a lot of theme Monopoly games could have a lot more, like, charm put into them. A lot of them seemed like they were just, like, made in, like, a day or two, honestly. <laughs> and, like, a Zelda Monopoly, you could add some really nice artwork to make it look really Zelda-themed. Like, imagine a Twilight Princess-themed, like, art style for Monopoly board. That would look so good. Scott the Waz Monopoly. Okay, attacking two games Monopoly win. You like the house rule of usable railroads of skip portions? I've never played with that house rule before. Whenever you guys play Monopoly, do you have the house rule turned on to where you get money if you land on free parking? Or do you have free parking as just like a free space that nothing happens on?
<laughs> the night bot. <laughs> it's actually pretty genius. <laughs> it's a house rule? Yeah, in, in base Monopoly, you're not supposed to get money for landing on free parking. In actual Monopoly, you're not supposed to put any money in the middle of the board at all. Like, that's not a thing. Like, income tax and all those types of things. Those aren't supposed to go on the board, but that's a house rule. I feel like Monopoly is a good game to play as a kid because it can teach you a little bit about money and all that and all that sort of stuff. Honestly, I kind of like Monopoly Junior more than actual Monopoly. The Monopoly Junior, you're like at a theme park and you're just buying like hot dog stands and carnival rides and stuff. It's, it's pretty vibey. I've never played Fortune Street. And honestly, I've never watched even the Runaway guys play it. Like, I've watched random one-off videos, but I've never really understood, like, how the game works. I do remember when I was a kid, I actually kind of did like Monopoly, and I would, like, choose house rules that would make the game last longer. Just because... I enjoy playing Monopoly for hours. No one understands Fortune Street. You just play and pray. <laughs> okay, if that's the vibe, then like, that makes a lot more sense. It's getting spooky. All the horn birds. Can I get a hoya pair? Can I mark the pair in the tracker? No! Okay, excuse. This, this needs to be fixed. There's actually a fun game called Kill Dr. Lucky that is basically reverse clue. You sneak around a mansion trying to get the owner alone to kill them. Ooh, I love games that help you plan out premeditated murder. Oh, my favorite. Yo, Rydell Francis, thank you for the, for the bloopies, my friend. Right now we have 53 hours remaining on the timer, which is a much more like realistic looking number than when we had, was it yesterday we had over 80 hours? Would that even be possible to have over 80 hours yesterday? I don't know, it's been going crazy. All right, what's this chest? Treasure chest 20, we have so many treasure chests. I'm gonna open up some of my charts. We got four. That kind of looks like a butt print. That looks like a toilet bowl. That's a fat sperm. Those are freckles. That's a gnarly battle scar. That's a sideways booty. That's a, that's a not sideways booty. That's another sideways booty. <laughs> Why do we get all the fairies? Like, damn. Did we get three fairy chart? Dang, we got every single direction of fairy chart. Every direction of a butt we got. This is a really old and crusty nipple. Oh wait, we have the ghost chart. Are you on the for reals right now? I didn't realize I got that, <laughs> but cool. It's gonna be on Spectacle Island. Oh, it's at Spectacle Island right now. I don't think I should do that because I think I'll die if I tried. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and go north from here. I need to use my compass more in Wind Waker. I honestly don't use it enough. Yo, is that a, re a hydration redemption? Thank you. I needed that. Whew. I 
I love sailing around in this game. I'm going for the platform. Is there a platform? What is this for? Ghost ship, I'm guessing? Yeah, never mind. There was nothing here. I got bamboozled. Feels so stupid. How did I get tricked by the randomizer? One interesting thing is so far since we've started this randomizer randomizer, I don't think I've completed one Zelda temple. I have yet to fight a boss during this whole entire subathon. And we're on day five. Are the islands randomized? No, but that'd be really cool, honestly. Oh, no, we did beat Dodongo's Cavern. We've beat one dungeon so far. It's day five and we beat one dungeon. That's crazy. I want a bow or a hookshot before taking on the... Yeah, anything with whiz robes are like impossible unless... Impossible. Unless you get a bow or something that has like a projectile to it. <laughs> we beat Bowser's bus. We did beat it. Can you fight Goma with Skull Hammer? That's a great question. I kind of hope we don't find the sword for a long time so we can see, like, what we can and can't do without it. Next time we play Majora's Mask, we'll complete at least one dungeon. You can feel it. I guess we'll see. Guess he's back. Back again. Um, Tokyo New. Am I right? can kill Goma with grappling hook only. Hey. Nice. I knew it. <laughs> Free treasure chest on the raft. This guy's snoozing on the job. Yellow rupee. Oh yeah, swordless is a thing. That is an option. I did not choose swordless as an option. But you can't turn on sword this mode. So yeah, I would presume every boss is beautiful without the sword. Oh yeah, the hookshot was being sold by the expensive beetle for 500 rupees. You're right. Good show me. Hammer all ya. Oh, that felt like overkill. I kind of feel bad for that. I know I can't hold 500. Don't rub it in. I have a baby wallet. Oh. <laughs> they can't even like defend against the hammer. This is pretty amazing. I'm realizing I need to use a hammer more often. Hammer so busted. I feel fearless right now. I feel more fearless. Dang it. I feel more fearless than the Taylor Swift album currently. That's pretty high tier fearlessness. Okay, so coming down here gave us a yellow rupee and a joy pendant. What a freaking waste. Are you guys proud of me? I've been saving pretty frequently in case there's game crashes, but there hasn't been game crashes, so it's been a win-win. Yeah. Hey, I feel like I haven't given the hammer enough chances. I've always been like a sword guy, but I should become more of a hammer guy. Some big ham- big hammer energy. 
bro. I'm feeling absolutely hammered. I'll probably get hammered Saturday night. The very, very last night of the subathon to close off the bow out. I should play a Pokemon random. I've never played a Pokemon randomizer before. I definitely should play a Pokemon randomizer for my first time this year. Except I'll be playing not knowing much about Pokemon, so that's either a good, uh, maybe it might be a funny thing or a completely terrible thing. Tyler's gonna take his Gerudo top off, confirmed. Yeah, I'll be doing a drunk stream while wearing my Gerudo cosplay. After five days of streaming, do you feel great coming back? You want to keep going? Yes. I honestly, when I went on my road trip this year, I like unlocked this like energy within myself, like deep down, that has been like kind of like locked up almost. I feel, and I'm like really excited to like finally be my full version of myself again. Pokemon randomizers are pretty different. You don't need to play the games before. Hey, could you just get random Pokemon, right? So as long as you know Pokemon types and all that, you should be pretty good. Which I have a Pokemon type chart that shows what Pokemon types are better than the others. We've made it to the Thorny Island. Ooh, me so thorny. Ooh, ooh me so thorny. Ooh, me so thorny. Me so thorny. Thorny. Oh. Oh. So thorny for you. Blah. Oh, come on, come on. Oh wait, they come back up? You gotta go fast. Yeah, chat honestly is my life coach. Chat has collectively become my life coach. I, got, I have a lot of mentorship, but it takes a village, right? It takes a village. Young Maker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Feeling so thorny, you got hammered and then ruthlessly pegged the island's fairy hole. <laughs> That's hilarious. The village people. Oh yes, the village people. The perfect people to take care of me during Pride Month. We're having fun at the T-U-C-L-A-N. We're having fun at the T-U-C-L-A-N. You can have a good time. You can give a whole yeah. You can do whatever you feel. We're having fun at the T-U-C-L-A-N. Having fun at the T-U-C-L-A-N. Yeah. Yeah. We can play some rando. We can randomly dance. We can go and cop a feel. Yeah, yeah. Two can. Are you having good times? I said two clan. Are you feeling inclined? I said two clan. Can I get some squads? Two hype the. Chat up, bam, 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 bam. Okay, we're going to the star belt next for I think a, a platform. We made rainbow cake. You're making rainbow cake is actually fun. I think I'm definitely gonna change the colors of the red squaw though. Red squaw is almost a bit too too much. It needs to be more pastel. I, I'm a pastel guy. But also pastel doesn't show up great on light mode. But whatever. Oh. Pastel is so much more aesthetic. Okay, okay, another Tingle statue. Dragon Tingle statue. Zam. 
All my homies hate saturation. <laughs> it's too much, man. It hurts my eyes. Okay, next stop we can go to is what? Seven Star Island? No. The beginning of Wind Waker Randomizer can be... Very patience testing. We're gonna go east to the Eastern Fairy Island. Great how that works out. I took a nap earlier. I had a dream about Little Tall singing for a village that he lives in. And everyone was cheering for him. It was so cute. Oh my god, would it be would it not be the cutest thing if Little Tall went out on an adventure? And then he found a village of chameleons and toucans. And then he lived with them like Tarzan and became the... That's how we became the leader of the two clan. We had some like cute little storybook to like give it like a story. What if I made a, a, a little a, a little tall storybook? That'd be really cute. Can we do a sing-along to your old Wind Waker songs? Because I feel like... We could possibly listen to this, the Wind Waker. <clears throat> the Wind Waker song slash song parodies. I think we need to collectively take a look at this thing that the mods put together. So earlier I was, I made a tier list. I figured it out a tier list of how daddy all the dads in Zelda are. And we actually have a tier list made for it. <laughs> and it looks actually pretty good. <laughs> Dead Dompe. Yeah, regular Dompe is B tier. Dead Dompe is triple S tier. Because he's always looking out. He's Dead Dompe is omnisciently watching over you. Shoutouts to Lincoln and Pona too for making this. Let's go, Emily. This is awful. What do you mean? What's wrong with the tier lists? Where was I wrong? I'm pretty sure this is perfect. 